So guys, do you have an upgraded clutch or when you push your clutch pedal, do you feel a clunk or a thunking or a snapping? Definitely check out this video when I get home here. Hey guys, what's going on? So we went to Caro today to get some groceries and the clutch pivot arm on my car started popping on me. If you look up, it's not gonna be the easiest thing to see and it's actually almost better to pop right off. I think the only thing keeping it on is that dash bar. But the fingers on this plastic piece always break off. I've almost been stranded because of this damn thing before. And luckily enough, the car that I got almost got stranded in I had a DCR one sitting in a cup holder, so I was able to swap it out in the parking lot, but I'm gonna show you guys how to change one of these today. And I know the factory one has an adjustment on it, but like I said, the fingers and everything break out of the hole, and you can see how this one's got nothing in it. I'll give you a side-by-side -side on what that looks like. You see these four fingers here? They're supposed to be on that push rod. Well, they all break off. And I could put a stock one back in and get away with it, but I don't like messing with those things. I actually prefer the DCR push rods. Uh, it's an adjustable one, it's got a bearing in it, and it's held on by an E-clip. So today, we're going to swap that guy out, and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that. Everything that we're going to need to do this job today, I'm using a DCR pushrod combo to replace it. You can use uh, Rage Tech or anybody else. Um, I do like the DCR ones better than anybody else. The Rage Tech one has a brass bushing inside that really wears out. So let's see. So yeah, you got to make sure, because there is some oil that he puts on here. Sometimes the E-clip sticks to that. You don't want to lose it because you do need it. If you have a stock rod and it's still intact and you want to upgrade to that before it gets to that point, you can take a screwdriver or something behind the arm and pop it off. Obviously, mine's broken, so I can't show you how to do that today. But you're going to break the fingers anyway. Just get a good one. Break that son of a bitch off. I'm using these picks to get the boot out. Um, if you have the boot, the car that I'm working on doesn't have it. You're going to need an 8 millimeter socket to pull the bolt out of the clutch adjuster so you can pull the seal off, which you guys will see here later in the video. 11 16 short wrench to tighten the jam nut on the push rod for the DCR one anyway. And then I'm using an array of pliers to try and get this stuff out as well as these snap ring pliers here to pull the inner snap ring out. The tool that I did forget is a flat bladed screwdriver that I'm going to use to get in between the metal clip that goes on the push rod that locks itself into the piston inside of the master cylinder. You guys will see that later in the video, but I'm going to brief you up on it. And then what I had to do was take and grind my flathead screwdriver more to a point. That way I could actually get it in between the piston and the retainer. Once you get the snap ring out and you get everything adjusted and you try to put it back in, I ended up having to use some vice grips here to get the clip just to start and then be careful to pop them off and get it loose. And then I just went back in and pushed them on with these pliers. And then I used needle nose pliers here to push the boot back in. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that when I do this, but I'm gonna take you out there and we'll get going. I will put a link in the description for the DCR push rod that I'm gonna use today. And then I hope you guys are gonna be able to see what I do, because it's not gonna be easy to see me pulling out this snap ring, because I'm probably gonna fill this bay here where I'm working. But let me take you in and I'll show you where that snap ring is. So if you look on here, you got your push rod. And like I said, these are the these are the fingers that break off, and it's actually this bushing that pops out. This thing is what breaks down, and then this is what you end up with. So, I, like I said, I could change this on mine. I'm not dealing with it. There is a seal, so you get behind the seal with a pick, and you pull the seal back. You can actually, if you want, you can unbolt this, take this right off, and that seal will slip over. I'm actually going to put this on the new push rod when I put it in. There is a the snap ring here that holds this piece in. This is what locks to the end of the uh, push rod. And then the snap ring holds it from coming out of the slave itself. But I don't put the snap ring back in. I don't mess with that. I just put this push rod in and it's good to go. Realistically, that should never pop off. At least at this point, I can show you guys how to get the um, snap ring off. But here's where mine was. And you can see that push rod just walks around and all that slop in the pedal. That's not what you want. So pop that off. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the snap ring here and spin it so I can get to it easy. Usually you can just grab one side, spin it around like this. There we go. Rotate it so it's easy to get. Okay, so I got lucky with those snap ring pliers. The straight ones actually were enough to get in there. Then you just try and walk this guy out. So grab it with a pick and pull it. There we go. So I got that off. Now one thing you gotta be careful of is pulling the piston out with the arm. So you see how I pulled the arm back and it's still snapped into that piston.
that plastic piston there is what pushes clutch fluid. So if you pull that guy out, you're gonna lose your fluid. You gotta get a flathead screwdriver. And then that plate that I showed you, that snap ring holds in. You gotta get in there with a screwdriver and twist it between the plate and the piston. And it will separate those two. And then you could pull that guy right on out of there. So I got my flathead screwdriver. And then I'll show you how we're doing this. So that piston that I just showed you with that plastic, this piece sits inside of it and this is flush to the end. So you gotta pretty much get behind it and then twist. And that'll push the piston back and disengage it from this metal collar. And then you can pull that sock push rod right out. Hope this video works out for you guys because I know this is a real pain to do. And it would probably be a real big help for guys to be able to see how it's done. I just don't know how well the camera picks it up in this kind of a spot. So yeah, you get behind that metal plate and the piston, just work your way in. Try not to damage your piston. You don't want to pull it out too far. Oh, come on. Come on. Dude. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? There we go. What a nuisance. Okay, so at this point, before I put anything else in, Push the piston in. Okay, so I actually had to sharpen my screwdriver to get behind it, it wasn't thin enough. So I sharpened it on the grinder real quick, got in there and popped that guy out. So what you gotta do now, hopefully when you take yours out, you still have the seal. I got my finger pretty good, so uh, excuse the blood if you're squeamish, don't look. So you just take an eight millimeter uh, socket or a wrench or whatever, and take the arm apart. Pretty much just take it apart at the adjusting point. So you separate it, and then you just go ahead and Pull your seal right off the end, and then slip it over the DCR arm, and then you're ready to go. So when you get the put back together, you can just push the seal in and not worry about dust or anything getting inside. So now we gotta put it back in, and I don't put the E-clip in until I know my rod's adjusted right. So you could have it in and out of here a few times because it is a threaded adjustment, and you wanna make sure you get your clutch travel right. So what I do is I just set it all in, So you get it in here, get it set up. Ideally you want about a half an inch of travel, maybe an inch. So I got my clutch pedal adjusted and ideally, like I said, my knuckle is about an inch. So what you want is about an inch of free travel. So I'm gonna put the top of the, di or top of the clutch at my knuckle, because this here is about an inch on my hand. And then you want it to go about an inch before it contacts anything. And then you get into the pressure plate and then you disengage. So that's where we're at guys. Now it isn't easy to try and adjust this thing in the car. If you've already got the snap ring in and you do have to adjust it, what I use is a shorty wrench because it gives me the swing about here. And then uh, you can loosen this and then spin the rod by hand and then tighten that jam nut back up. Make it longer if you need to bring the pedal up, make it shorter if you need to move the pedal down where it lets go of the clutch, and then you can get it adjusted. So now that I got the rod end, or the rod, where I want it, you just take your wrench, tighten it up, and you could even take the pick that you're using, just what I'm gonna use as the handle, just grab it, and then tighten the rod, stick it all in. And the hardest part at this point is trying to get this damn E-clip on. So, we'll get this stuff in. Now the E-clip's gonna slip on right here, and then you gotta push that seal back in, but I don't worry about that until the E-clip is on. And what I'm gonna do to put the clip in, is I'm gonna use a set of needle nose pliers, and you gotta grab it. And you gotta squeeze hard, because you really gotta cram this thing on there. And then once you get it started, then I go on with a set of regular pliers, and I just use the flat end to push these guys on. So hopefully you guys will be able to see this. So you just take the E-clip, Make sure everybody got to squeeze hard because it'll push back on you. So you squeeze it hard. Get it started. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. What the hell? You son of a bitch. Okay. So you get it started somehow. I had to use a couple different sets of pliers and then you just push it on. Hopefully it goes straight on. There we go. Feels good. Slide your boot in. And 
And then when you're done, you just double check, make sure your pedal's right. So go ahead and put it in gear, pull your parking brake or hold the brake, let up on the clutch. Alrighty guys, so we got this one wrapped up. Hopefully this video helps anybody out trying to do this job. But you guys have yourself a good one, stay safe, and we will see you at the track. Thanks.